Welcome everybody to That's a Wrap. I'm Caboose XBL. I'm Ender the Answer. And today we are going to be doing our top five most anticipated comic book movies of 2017. I love doing this video because the hype train is always through the roof year after year as far as what's coming out. There is some heavy hitters coming out oh, next year yeah. that I'm so excited for and I'm hoping that I'm not going to have any dishonorable mentions at the end of next year. <laughs> well, just as he's mentioning, we just did our top five favorite comic book movies of 2016. You can check that out. The link for it is going to be in the description box below. So with all that said, we have our top fives. We have our honorable mentions. Let's start with you. Yes, and this time they are honorable mentions. Yes, they are honorable mentions. So for 2017, mentions. one of my honorable mentions, and I mean a lot of people are looking forward to this, is Power Rangers. Yeah, You know, yeah. the one trailer that we saw, it was good. I just, I think they're going to get this one right. I don't know if it's going to be great. So. It's going to be better than what they, a lot of people do hope. So yeah. what I do as well, we already see a couple of cool cameos hopefully in there, and that yeah. just alone is going to be very exciting to see. So that is one of my honorable mentions. Absolutely. All right, so what else is on your honorable mentions list? I've also got... Justice League as my honorable mention. As your honorable as mention? As my honorable mention. Yes, my hate train continues <laughs> for the DC movies. And I'll tell you why. Batman vs. Superman, we know. It was disappointing for me. Justice League, I, I've said this to you all along. The next Justice League movie is going to be the big one. This so, one, I think there's just going to be too much going on. We know Superman's going to come back. He's dead. It's an honorable mention for me. I hope they knock my socks off and it's not. All right. And what's your last honorable mention? My last one is Wonder Woman. Wow. The DC Again, fans I'm are the DC on hate an trade. assault against I just, you right now. You know, the World War One setting for me is always a little iffy. It's always, really? Yeah. It's I always think a little it iffy. Awesome. Because then what happens is when, you know, a newer version of Whatnot comes out, we lose some of those great characters. And Fair I love enough. Chris Pine for that reason. But yes, I do understand why they're doing it. As of right now, once again, honorable mention, but I hope they knock my socks off. All right. So your number five, what is it? So my number five. I'm so hyped for this is Pirates of the Caribbean really yes, I've been waiting I've been a fan ever since day one you know remember when we took that trip to Florida and we watched yeah. the movie like 17 yeah. times in the yeah. van so I know the movie off by heart a couple of disappointments with the last movies and it's just he's a great character he's funny Jack he does, Sparrow, you he mean? does yeah. it right Jack Sparrow uh, Johnny Depp so I'm definitely excited for that one can't blame you on that alright so my honorable mention and they are I, bringing I, back some of the old characters that's right yeah I think that's, that's what gets that, me that, most that's excited. what got me to number yeah. 5 Yeah. so that's why actually past. Pirates of the Caribbean is one of my honorable mentions I am looking forward to it not so much yes. i think what i'm most excited about is javier bardem being the villain of the movie that yes. looks interesting yes i've also got power rangers on my honorable mentions i know uncaged will be very proud that we're both very excited for yes. this movie yes uh, and then the last honorable mention that i have is star wars episode 8 the only reason it's my honorable mention and not on my list is we haven't seen anything yes so yes. like how else how, how else could we be excited yes. for it I, I beg to differ when my list comes out but okay anyway. well <laughs> my number five is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I mean, both trailers have been I can't believe so it's funny. number five. I don't know why he's so <laughs> upset. Like, I'm still super excited for this yes. movie, but it just looks so much fun. And the first one was such a blast and such a surprise to most audiences. Yes. So I can't wait for the second one to see how they further these characters and bring them further in their 100%. development. 100%. We'll go to my number four. Yes. It is Logan. Logan and yes. number four. Yes. You're upset at me for having uh, Guardians yes. at number five. Yeah, you can shake my head Logan. for that. That is Wolverine true. Wolverine is your favorite character. It's just because my other three, I'm just so much more okay, fair for. Enough. That's why. It was it was hard putting together this fair one. Fair enough. All right. Um, you know, it's going to be rated R. As yep. you say, you know, Deadpool set the precedence here. It's Logan. It's Wolverine. It's going to be a movie. It's going to yep. be a story. It's going to be film. A, yeah. It is going to be a film. It's going to be a different yeah. kind of comic book movie. So that's my number four. All right. My number four is Wonder Woman. I am really looking forward to this movie. I love the World War One setting. I think it looks gritty and cool and just badass. I mean, females and little girls out there, she, they need an empowering character like Wonder Woman I, That is a very them. good point. That is and a good point. Is it going to be Gal Gadot, though? Is she going to be the girl? I don't, I don't know. We saw enough yet in Batman if it's, v Superman. If, but so. if it's anything like what she was in Batman v Superman, it's going to be so freaking cool. She was so badass in that movie. So. Well, she had one of the best scenes, yeah. Absolutely. But, but Hell yeah. Let's see how she's going to do carrying the whole entire All right, movie. so that's my number four. What's your number three? My number three is Spider-Man Homecoming. Spider-Man Homecoming. Wear, right. Wearing the hat, I mean, after the trailer, yeah. blown away. What, I love what they've done in this movie. No origin story, like I mentioned. You know, obviously, Iron Man, Robert Downey being in it. It's it's going to be incredible. I actually like the badass line from Michael Keaton in the trailer. I that to one mention, line alone. I want that to mention one that. line alone sets up so much. It makes it so cool. I don't even mind his futuristic costume yeah, that he had yeah. and whatnot. So, I mean... I, it looks like I am finally sold on Tom. I, I wanted to mention that because you were <laughs> yes. so kind of against this yes. at first. Michael yes. Keaton, you were like, eh, and Tom Holland, you were like, eh, and now you're yes. sold after that I first am. trailer. Huh? See, see, I do switch over. Yeah, I, okay. It does happen. Fair enough, it does fair happen. enough. Yeah. Well, I agree with you 100%. Number three for me is also Spider-Man Homecoming. I am, I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to this movie. Yes. Spider-Man and Batman 
were my life as a child. So yes. seeing his, this character side by side with Iron Man is something I've dreamed of yes. for so long. And they seem to be knocking it out of the park. And Michael Keaton, that one line, yeah, it's a generic line. But when Michael Keaton's speaks, delivering it, I know. he is so good. So you know there's going to be good excited. comedic moments. I mean, the movie the movie is going to rock and roll. Like I said, it's not going to waste any time. Yeah. Um, uh, it, it's definitely going to be exciting. So what's your number two? So my number two is Star Wars Episode Eight. We, we haven't, haven't seen, seen anything. anything. We have, but I'm just telling you, after what, what? has happened with Rogue One and Force Awakens alone, it, I, I am so excited for this movie. Okay. I'm telling you, if we would have saw a trailer, which you know, to hold year away, yeah. it could potentially be a number one. Nothing would have beat my number one anyway. But okay. just what they've done with the movie, I'm definitely pumped up for it. I cannot wait to see how the story is going to evolve, what's going to happen, what they're going to show. You know, Han is gone, but everybody else is coming back. There is a lot more to the yeah. story to be told. Yeah, okay. they've, they've got me hooked. Ever but, since Force Awakens, they've got me hooked. I think you got me sold on your reasoning. I, I can understand yes. your reasoning there. So my number two, and maybe you guys are going to hate me, but it's Justice League. My ju- Justice League is at my number two. Believe me, I am so excited for this movie. When that first trailer came out from Comic-Con, it was a total surprise for us. You guys saw our reaction. We were freaking yes. out. And I can't wait to see if Zack Snyder can finally land a home run in the DC Cinematic Universe. I'm so excited Absolutely. for it. And I think everybody is waiting for that. We are waiting yeah. for that home run. He's got the cast here. We I are believe waiting in him. I for believe that in him. Run. I have but mark my words. I'm going on record again and seeing it. The second Justice League is going to be the absolute volcano of the movies. Well, okay, but are you, are you saying that and saying that Justice League 1 is not going to be good? I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm still worried. Okay, still fair worried. enough. But Justice League's my number two. I'm so excited. Yeah. Everything looks great from what we've seen so far. What's your number one? No doubt about it. Guardians of the Galaxy Part 2. Wow. There is no doubt okay. about it. That's I why mean, he was so upset that it was number no five. There is no doubt about it. <laughs> the, I mean, the movie was an absolute home run. Came from left field. No one knew who the Guardians of the Galaxy You're was. You're talking about the first one. The yeah. first one. We never knew. So, I mean, and now the trailer, the way they showed it. Oh, my God. The cute, it looks the cute so much actor with Groot. The Baby comedy. Groot looks great. And, and, you know, and, and there's still a lot of mystery. Don't get anybody wrong here. There is still a lot we yeah. haven't seen. We haven't seen the dad. Yep. You know, we, we haven't really seen what's going to happen with the villains. So, there's still yeah. a lot of mystery for this movie. Definitely, I cannot wait to see it. My number one by far. By a long shot, it was my number one. Fair enough. And I, I agree with you in that sense that my number one was easily my most anticipated movie of 2017 and that is Logan. After that trailer, I have never had such an emotional response yeah. to a trailer the way I have to Logan. Yeah. You're the ultimate I will give you that. You, you do appreciate yeah. filmmaking. You that's, really that's do. what you gets really me do. so excited yeah, you is do. James Mangold and Hugh Jackman what they're trying to do with Logan is they're not trying to make some big blockbuster comic book movie. They're trying to make a film with characters and story yes. and something that you want to invest yes. in. And I think people got to go into that movie expecting exactly. that, having yes. it in their mindset. It's not going to be a slash him up comic book Logan movie. Maybe it I, will. It, 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 it'll, there'll Maybe. be parts for it because yeah. they got to give that to yeah. us. Oh, yeah. But um, it is going to be a film, and I know you do appreciate it. And I just, I can't express my excitement for the movie enough. Everything that they've been posting, these pictures and everything, I'm just. I'm so excited for Logan. It looks fan freaking tastic, and I can't be more excited for it enough. So that is it. That is our top five most anticipated films of 2017. But what do you guys think? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. What are your most anticipated films of 2017? Yeah, I always love seeing it. I always like ranking it and seeing, you know, who has yeah. who, who has Guardians of the Galaxy, who's on the DC train, who's on the Marvel <laughs> train. But, you know, me and Caboose, we did want to take one moment just to say thank you to everybody yeah. for supporting us the whole entire year. I know Caboose does his thing. I'm just on here this show with him. But the comics, good or bad, good or bad, I, I love them all and I love yeah. reading them. The interaction with the fans is incredible. This has been you know, just a great journey for us to do this. I, we, we, I mean, outside of this show, we talk about comic book movies all, all the, time. the time. So every it's, day. it's just been a dream for us to be able to come on camera and speak to you guys and interact with you guys about all this stuff. Because yeah. what we've been doing with this YouTube channel over the last almost five years that I've been doing it has been something extraordinary. And half of the experiences that we've gotten to live through is because of what you guys yes. do and support us every yes. single day. So happy holidays. We all hope you had a great time over the holidays with your family, friends, whatever it may be. Thank you so much for all your support. With all that said, let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. I'm Caboose XBL. I'm Andy The Answer. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment if you have an opinion. And subscribe if you're new. That's a wrap.